Hi, this is Jeff with the Halcyon Masters and Impact Gaming. We want to welcome you to the Heroic Tie series where we take a closer look at the story and lore behind the Vainglory heroes. In today's episode, we are going to talk about the Western-inspired, gun-slinging lawmaker named Gwen. Her story takes place sometime after Taka's last encounter with the leader of House Kamuha. If you have not seen our video on Taka's backstory, you can find the link in the description or in the card in the upper right hand corner, as these stories are connected. The lore continues with the comic Guns and Sons, written by Sugar Venom and illustrated by Chimera. Wielding two guns, a revolver, and one much larger boomstick, Gwen strolls into town on a stormy Spurs night. With a flash, she deals out her justice. Gwen calls out to the boss lady of House Kamuha to pony up the reward for the elusive assassin Taka. To prove she had taken him out, Gwen holds up Taka's tyrant's monocle with a bullet hole right through the middle of the lens. The boss lady, knowing full well Taka is not dead, moves forward to reveal she's more bird than human. She also understands Gwen was sent to take her out of power, starting by killing her sons. Gwen steps up and tells the old bird that it's just the two of them, but the boss lady corrects Gwen and says no, it is you and you, and disappears, when at the same time Taka appears from the ceiling and tries to ex Retsu, the old leader. Moments later, the boss lady reappears to revive her sons. With an army of undead servants attacking, Gwen sees a challenge, and Taka, scared of the odds, just curses. The two begin to fight. Taka flips over the undead while Gwen snipes headshot after headshot. Outnumbered and nervous, Taka sneaks into his box and tries to run. Stupid fox in a box. I was never here. Even under the cover of his box, the bird lady finds Taka and begins to chant, You are Taka of House Kamuha. You are Taka of House Kamuha. Trying again to brainwash Taka into the unburdened assassin he once was. Distracted by her chant, Gwen knows where to aim. With her buckshot bonanza, she clears a path through the undead and launches her ultimate aces high directly at Taka. The card strikes him clear in the head and breaks him from the boss lady's control. Gwen takes aim once again and fires a single shot right above the old bird's eyes, dropping it to the ground. Taka got his revenge for the murder of his shishu. With the job done, Gwen walks off to collect her reward. Taka being a little bit greedy tries to get Gwen to split the reward, only to have her challenge his cheap taste in accessories. But hey, 2,750 gold for a tyrant's monocle is not exactly cheap, now is it? Well that concludes this Heroic Ties video, and on behalf of the Halcyon Masters and Impact Gaming, I want to say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and learned a little something about the hero's backstory, give us a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe so you can be first to know when we release our next installment. Until next time, we'll see you on the Halcyon Fold.